just in real simple layman's terms, what do you do? As far as the for sampling? For the sample, yeah. The sampling we've got, this piece of equipment right here is a test sampler. So it encloses an area about, about a tenth of a square meter on the, on the stream bottom. And it's got a protective net on the front, so any invertebrates that would be drifting downstream can't get in. So it's a fully enclosed sample and gives us a quantitative sample of that stream bottom. So we take three of those at each location. That gives us the ability then to compare statistically each site to each other. And we get you know, the standard means, standard deviations, uh, those types of things. So it's a, a good quantitative comparison site to site. And that's the same type sampler that we've used in all the other previous studies here on the, on the frying pan. Okay. So that way we can directly compare those habitat values and, and uh, invertebrate values that we get. All right. And then back in the lab, what do you do? In the lab, these samples will be sorted. So we put them into a tray that's gridded. And it's a random sampling technique to pick a grid to start from. And we sample until we get 600 invertebrates, um, just going grid to grid in those ram random samples. If we pick the whole thing before 600, that's OK. But uh, we use that 600 number. It's standard for the White River National Forest for what they're doing. So it's comparable to all the other samples huh. that are taken up in this area. Okay. And with the previous samples that we've taken as well. And then do you, are you interested in overall numbers and We types? do overall numbers. Uh, species, we take them down to as far as we can on the uh, like genus and species, depending on what stage they're in. Some of them are easy to do than others. Others aren't. Uh, small ones sometimes aren't well enough developed. You can get species, but we usually get genus or family. And then we look at that uh, taxonomic distribution and get the comparison of how many of each species we've got compared to the previous and, and get the diversity, evenness, uh, all those type of standard metrics we use for invertebrates. And okay. then biomass as well, so we can tell what kind of stream production there is.